Hi, I'm DeAndrea and welcome to my channel. So today's routine is a 15 minute Pilates based workout with weights. We're gonna do this routine standing up today. So grab a pair of light weights and join me for this routine. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. Hi and welcome. So today we are utilizing some light weights, okay? Um, I have some three pound weights um, that I love. I will um, put these in the description of this video. Um, but use what you have. If you have water bottles, right? If you don't wanna use any weights at all, if you even have ankle weights you wanna put around your wrist, just use whatever you have. A little resistance will just add a challenge to this workout and work a little bit on strength. And um, do what you can today, right? Show up. Um, we are standing completely for this routine. All right, so we are gonna start with the weights already in our hands and start with your knees slightly bent, feet are hips distance apart. Just take a deep breath in, exhale all the air out. We're gonna start with the standing roll down. So knees are soft, roll chin to chest nice and easy, all the way down. So right now I'm just holding the weights in my hands. I do have a firm grip, letting the head hang heavy and then nice and slow roll up. Knees are still soft. Draw your arms up your chest, reaching your arms up to the ceiling. Good, bend those elbows, bring it back down, chin to chest, another slow roll down. So pretend like you're rolling off of a wall, segmenting your way down, waking up the back of the body a little bit. Heavy head as you press to the floor and roll all the way up. My elbows bend wide to the side, pressing those weights overhead and then bend and one more roll down, chin to chest, nice and easy, roll down. Like a rag doll here, right? Heavy head, and then chin to chest, ground down through those feet, abdominals end, bend those elbows, reach up overhead, and then bend your elbows, bringing your arms down by your side. Good, from there, knees still soft, I'm gonna take a side bend over, letting the weight hang heavy, and then up. Good. So as you're doing this, pretend like you are standing between two panes of glass. So we're not going forward or back. We're just standing up right through the center. And the whole time I'm grounding down through my feet, just opening up the sides a little bit here. Good. Let's do just one more each side. So the head hangs, slide down, and then to the other side. All right, good. Starting with footwork, which I love to start out in my standing routines. So from here, you're just gonna rise up onto the balls of your feet and then press down to your heels. Good, and lift. So we call this footwork in Pilates, yes? Starting to warm up our base, our feet, which always don't get a lot of attention. Let's do four more. And as you lift, think about drawing your thigh bones in towards each other. Right, so it's helping you to center what we call the midline and then hold the balance on the next one. Whatever you can do, even if you're shaking here in this balance, chest is lifted, abdominals engaged, hold for four, three, two, press those heels in through the floor. All right, so then adding in the arms. Again, I have light weight, so I'm gonna sit back into my hips. Hinge, squat from your hips, arms shoot forward. Then arms come down, go back up to that releve position, lifting up in balance, and then lower your heels. Again, hips go back, arms shoot forward like you're skiing. Press through the floor, arms shoot back. Now on this one, you feel your shoulder blades pull back as you rise up, and then heels down. Let's find a little bit more flow. So sit back, rise up, take your time, lift balance, press the heels first, then sit back. And up, shoulder blades draw together as you balance. Heels down, again, sit back. Rise up, chest opens up, and back. Four more. Taking your time, going at whatever speed you need to do. Two more by my counts. Good, last one. Rise up, and then heels down, good. Separate your feet wider apart. So I'm turning my legs out to what my hips can do. So think about your thigh bone turning out and your toes should match the angle of your knee, that turnout position. All right, so for this one, bring your arms up, 90 degree bends, and then slowly slide down to that turned out squat, arms press, elbows bend, knees straighten. Again, slide down, reach, and bend. All right, let's keep moving, and press. Good. 
So think of this again as another footwork position. Yes, I know you feel those thighs, you feel your legs, but use your feet. Think of all four corners pressing into the earth as you rise up. And then arms, strong reach overhead. Last three and two. Now stay down on one and hold it. So hold it down to a challenging position for you. Your ribs are closed in the front, strong press up through the arms, bend one elbow, press up. Other arm bends and reach, bend, press. Now when I bend, the weight doesn't go any lower than my shoulder. Press up, good, can you get deeper in your squat? Go for it, four, three, two, and one. Rise up, good. Walk your feet back in. So now the setup of the arms, a little bit more upper body here. We're going to bring our elbows right around shoulder height. And then the movement is to bring the arms to the side, keeping your ribs closed in the front, and then bring them back in front. So that's the movement of the arms. So what are we doing with the legs here? We're gonna add a little balance, okay? So bring one leg up in front of you. Although the legs are not touching, I want you to get that energy as if they are. Draw the thigh bones in, hold it, and then see if you can play with the arms. Take your time. See if you can do eight reps like this. And if you need to balance with that big toe on the floor, you can do that instead of the leg high. Something to play with here. Definitely get into the shoulders, so make sure the chest is open. Shoulders roll back. I have two more, see if you can finish your eight. And lower the arms down. Whew. Okay, other side. So ground down through the floor, through the foot. Lift up. Think of the abdominals lifting that leg up. Then bring the arms up. Thighs pull towards each other. Close in front for eight. Chest open, seven. Use the breath. Good. Four more. By my counts, anyway. Chest up. Three, two, and one release the leg and the arms down maybe roll it out shake it out a little bit definitely got into those shoulders all right we are still working on balancing because this is a standing workout take one leg back we'll give you a little side view here for posture purposes now we tend to let the head hang keep your neck in line with your spine and hinge from your hips in this position so i'm going to take it to a row the elbows draw back right alongside the ribs then the arms straighten add the leg so as the elbows float back, the leg lifts, tap the foot. Pull back, tap the foot. Pull back, tap the foot. Now you can play with taking your hinge lower. Notice I'm not hanging from my shoulders, but I keep a flat back from head to tail and everything goes forward together. For three and two, Last one, can you hold it up there? The leg is lifted, long reach to those toes, neck is long, abs in, and release it down. All right, other side. So bottom leg stays bent, take the leg back behind you, arms forward. If you wanna keep it here, do it, right? You're bringing those elbows back, working the shoulder blades together, or add in that floating leg, down and up. Seven, six, use the breath. Again, you can play with hinging forward more, not rounding forward, but flat back forward. Abdominals in and up so we don't lean from our lower back. Hold that last one up if you can. Elbows pinned by your side, abdominals in, hold. Straighten that back leg more and release it down. Very good, okay. So next up, we're gonna go back to a wide position turn out of the legs, okay? So adding a little bit more spinal movement into it. We're gonna lower down into that plie position. All right, from there, we're taking one weight and reaching it up overhead. So you're down in the squat, chest is lifted, and then you're gonna reach over through your side and lift up. Now, this position, if it's not feeling good on your shoulder, put your weight down and just do it, okay? I want you to listen to your body. So we're down in the squat. I don't move from the hips down, but I'm gonna side bend over reach and then come back up. Okay, so it's a little side bend reach and lift up. Two more and lift, good. You're feeling those obliques, your sides a little bit. Come back to center, lower that weight, other side reach up, stay in the squat, take a side stretch over, back to center. Okay, again, reach. I'm not pressing the weight over, 
I'm moving my torso, the weight goes with me. One more. Back to center, lower the weight, press up through your legs. All right, good. So we're gonna keep that same turnout. I'm just gonna narrow my stance a little bit. That was a bit wide for me. But go down into that squat again. Lift one heel and pulse those hips. Using the breath, chest lifted. Good, eight more pulses, you can do it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch feet. Let's keep it rolling. Chest up, seven, high heel if you can. Eight more, eight more, keep the heel up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, push through, drop the heel, walk those feet together, shake it out. Chest expansion, so we started this one a little bit earlier. So as a reminder, your arms are by your side. I am drawing my shoulder blades back and together to move the arms. It's not the weight, it's the shoulder blades draw back and then the arms forward, okay? So that's the motion, we're gonna add a little pulsing with that. So the arms go straight back, pulse the arms back for four, three, two, bring them forward. Do that again, draw the arms back, shoulder blades draw together, pulse the arms back, Three, two, draw it forward. Again, pull it back, pulse back. Four, three, two, draw them forward. Now we're gonna take that to a hinge, more of a flat back position. As you go up against gravity, it provides more of a challenge. Keep the same alignment though of your shoulders. So hinge forward, I'm gonna sit back like kind of a squat position, chest lifted, flat back forward, bring the arms up, pulse the arms in towards each other. Four, three, Two, sweep them down. Again, sweep it back, draw the shoulder blades together, find that chest expansion position, sweep them down. Again, take it back, pulse the arms in. Three, two, now pay attention to your neck, don't let it hang, look forward, pulse. Three, two, take them forward. Good, two more. Try not to look side to side either, that can put a lot of pressure on your neck, you wanna protect your spine here. Press back, four, three, Two, can we do one more? Here we go, press it back, pulse the arms in. Three, two, hold it, lift your arms an inch higher, hold it for three, two, one, release it down, nice job. All right, next one, a little bit more upper body here. We're gonna bend our knees, zip up through the abdominals. Now, bring the weights back, elbows forward. So as I bring my weights back, I'm not leaning, doing that turtleneck thing, but instead, Grounding through the legs, weights go low towards the nape of your neck, like near your shoulders. Then press the arms up and bend. Good, so your arms are framing your head. They don't move at all. Again, if you're not exactly sure about this one, drop the weight and mark it. Think about engaging the muscle, the tricep, as you press up and reach. Control it down. Three more, reach. No movement of your neck here, okay? Last two. And last one. Lower, and then take your time. Bring your arms down by your side. Ooh, nice, okay. Going into some more leg movements here. So we're gonna go into a side lunge, okay? So like a speed skater kind of position. As I take my leg to the side, my arms reach out. So my hips back, one arm forward, one arm to the side, push to the floor, lift up. And again, take it back with those hips. So it is a side step, but the hips go back. And press up, strong press up, out to the side. Exhale, press away from the floor. Four more. And three. Press. Two. Press, whoop, last one. Hold it, hips back, chest up. Four, three, two, press away from the floor. Other side. Here we go, side step. Reach and lift. Strong push away from the floor. Six more. Exhale as you come up. Three. Lift. Two. You're going to hold that last one down. You can do it. Hold those hips back, chest up for four. Arms up. Three. Two. Push away from the floor. Good. Shake it out. Very nice. All right. So. Going into hug a tree arms. Knees are soft, arms float up. I have a rounded elbows, chest open, arms open to the side, and then close in front. 
Good. Let's actually bring our heels together, toes apart on this one. Let's add a balance. So as the arms open, you rise up. They close as you drop the heels. Open the arms without the ribs popping out. Heels down, arms close. Good, keep a strong grip on those weights. Nice, three more. Push through the floor. Two. Last one, hold it, hold it. Lower your arms by your sides. You're still balancing on your feet. Take the arms up overhead, bringing the arms down by your side. Arms up overhead, Ooh. arms down by the side. Two more, reach, and arms lower. Good, last one, reach, arms lower, drop your heels. Very good, take the weights, place them to the side. Separate your feet, we need to get a little twisting in. Saw, arms to the side, twist the torso, hips stay facing forward, reach towards your ankle. Come up through the twist, back to center, other side, twist, slide forward, reach, bring it up, back to center, other side, twist, slide forward, reach, we're up and center, one more time, twist, slide forward, reach, bring it up, back to center, good. Bring the feet back together, interlace the hands together behind your back, reach your knuckles towards the floor and open your chest up to the ceiling. See if you can keep the palms of your hands pressing into each other so you feel that engagement in your shoulders. And then release the arms, good. Finishing how we started, chin to chest, standing roll down, knees soft, roll yourself down to the floor. This time let the arms hang, very noodle-like. <laughs> Shake it out, knees soft as you roll all the way up. And then finish with the arms, big stretch up to the ceiling. And then exhale, release it all down. You did it. Thank you for joining me on the mat today. Hopefully you feel proud of yourself for taking some time for you today, all right? And please be sure to subscribe. Please share this with somebody who may enjoy a quick little burst of energy in the middle of their day. And let me know what you thought about this video and what else you would like to see. Um, also check me out on Instagram um, in my bio here. And I'd love to, to chat and get to know you as well. Thank you and I will see you on the mat next time. Bye.